How's the, how's the feeling with the group today? Good. You know, we just want to have a light practice because we have an afternoon game. So, you know, taper it. Uh, you know, but training was good. We accomplished what we wanted to accomplish today. So it was good. Um, a team coming in on the road that's been struggling a little bit. Um, do you expect them to come out a little bit more cautious and maybe a little bit more defensive and trying to, to find a rhythm there? Teams like that, you know, I mean, I, I know it sounds like coaches talk when you say they're dangerous, but, you know, the thing is you don't know what mentality they're going to come in with. Yeah. Uh, if you can jump on them early, I think that's to your advantage uh, because then that mentality might not maintain. But right now there's guys fighting for their jobs on that team, but there's also, you know, they're a team that when you look at the standings, it's not like they're far away from a playoff position. So even with all the all the adversity and the bad run recently, they're still in the hunt. And so here's a team that might come in and and try and figure out a way just to get a point out of here. And, and teams have done that against us uh, before, you know, where they've packed it in and then we have to be patient and uh, be able to open them up and create our opportunities. Yeah, and what kind of different challenges is, is that in compared to the Portland game where they kind of came out? And is it hard to adjust from a game like that that was so open to a game where you do kind of have to be patient and pick your spots? Well, the thing about soccer and the beauty of the sport is that no two games are ever alike, you know. So when you're playing against Portland, they're, they're very confident <coughs> and they're very ambitious, so they go forward. And that opened things up in the back for us to be able to counterattack. And, you know, a team like Colorado is probably going to be a little more cautious and sit in. So, so now our game plan, you know, we have to be a little more patient. We've got to be able to move the ball around, create our opportunities, uh, you know, and, and, and move their defense, you know, with, with our passing. So it's a different challenge for sure. Uh, how is uh, Traore? Uh, st starting to improve a little bit. You know, he took a knock. He took a knock in his quad and it really uh, bled, you know, and so it really swelled up. Uh, so the concern when you have that kind of an injury is you really can't push it until you get get the swelling out of there because if you push it too early, you can it can develop into like a, a, a really long-term problem, like, you know, months and months. Uh, so right now, you know, yesterday he made some good progress yesterday and, you know, hopefully uh, by the time we start coming back to get ready for Salt Lake, uh, that uh, you know he'll be able to maybe be in training by then. And it sounded like Remick needed a little more time, but otherwise y'all are y'all are pretty fit. Yeah, he's making progress. You know, just want him to have 100% confidence on striking the ball and you know his quick and sharp turns. So it's it's getting there. And I don't know how close you've followed, but any thoughts on uh, the Seattle Rain trying to bring a soccer to championship to the region? No, it's fantastic. I mean, you know, anytime uh, success, just like the Seahawks in any sport, you know, for any for any team in our area, I think is fantastic. And uh, obviously uh, the women's soccer team, we wish them on our behalf all the best and uh, and hope they bring that title, uh, that title to our city. Good. Thanks. Thanks, guys.